too. So we're gonna tell you your reach, my bro. Your godly status. Yeah, my bro. You ain't from you ain't no street rat. You're a mighty God walking the earth. And these people are disrespecting you. It's right. You run with your A holy people unto the Lord thy God. So you're holy, my brethren, means separate, different from everybody else. Read. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. The Lord thy God, the Creator, a what? He's chosen you to be a special person unto himself. This is personal, this is personal, my brethren. It's between the Creator and you. He said, I don't want all those people. I chose you, my brother. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. A what? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. I thought we're equal. What did the most I say? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. According to the law of the most high power, that law that sits in the courthouse, you're above all people that are upon the face of the earth. According to the law. We didn't say it. This is what the law says, the law of the most high God. Read it from the top. For thou art, art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Keep reading. set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any people. Okay, so the most high, he didn't put his love on you, or choose you because you're the most human race on the earth. straight to the milk. We're, we're going to keep it strong for you, my brother. Then we'll give you some meat. Because you know your roots. This is yours. These be the words which Maui. That's out there. I thought it took the 41. And called thee from the chief men thereof. And called thee from the chief men thereof. And said unto thee. And said unto you, my brother. Thou art my servant. Thou, thou art my servant. You are the ones who serve the Most High God. You are the ones who help the Most High Creator create things on this planet. You are the gods on this earth. Go to, let's go to Psalms 82 verse 6. Let's just tell the very straight up truth now. Let's give him some fire. That's enough milk. We don't need to give baby. This baby don't need heaps of milk. He's ready to be a So let's give him some milk. That's our meat. Psalms chapter 82, verse 6. I have said. What did the most high say? Ye are gods. What? Ye are gods. What? Ye are gods. What are you, my brother? Yeah. Why? Because the most high said. I didn't say it. We gotta get that God. We gotta feel like a God again. Hey, what did the most high say? All of you are children of the most high. But you shall die like men. We're still going to die like normal humans. But what? Start from the top. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High. But you shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Stand it. Hey. Arise, O God. Start it again. Arise, O God. So what did the Most High say to you to do, God? Arise. Arise. Air too. Arise, O God. Now what? Judge the earth. Do the what? Judge the earth. Judge the earth, my bro. For thou shalt inherit all nations. You want to inherit what? That's right. Yeah, read it again. Arise, O God. Judge the earth. Judge the earth, my brother. For thou shalt inherit all nations. You want to inherit the kingdom? You want to inherit all the nations? You want to be in power? Go to Deuteronomy 10 verse, uh, 12, uh, 10 verse 12. We'll tell you how to do it. See straight away, no back around. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now.
Matariki. Um, no, Matariki. Matariki? What does the Lord thy God require of thee? What does Allah Aikinui require from you? But to fear the Lord thy God. Fear the Lord thy God? How do you fear the Lord thy God? Hate the evil, love the good. When you see evil, judge it. Hate it. When you see good, exalt it. Raise it up. Embrace the love. Right. Embrace the good. But when you see evil and hate, kill it. You gotta judge it so you can inherit all nations. You can't let everything slide no more. Nothing can slide behind us no more. We're the Kaitiaki. We're the Kaitani far. That's right. Mm, we bounce at that shit. Yeah, we war with our words. We, and now, Matrik, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. To what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. That's it. Just to keep his commandments. He gave us some laws. And we just keep those laws. There's only 600 of them, bro. 613 of them. Yeah. It's easy, bro. There's, there's 40,000 popular laws we can keep. But there's, a, there's 600 God's laws we can't keep. So we're going to get you a law, because that's a requirement. If you want the kingdom, if you want rulership and dominion over this place, keep the commandments. So we're going to give you an easy, basic commandment for you. Bridges. Numbers. Yeah. So I believe in the divinity of the word, the divinity of the power of the creator. I don't just believe in physical. So the divinity thing he did right now was brought you here. He didn't want to hear this shit. He doesn't, we don't choose the creator. The creator chooses you. Numbers chapter 15 verse 38. So this is a law. That's why, our, that's why our ancestors wore these. Because it's color. It's a law. You gotta look that far too. Every race has a dress code. What's our dress code? Yeah, this is our dress code now, bro. We're gonna make it look styly, but we're gonna chuck our fringes on. Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe. So this is why we used to hold it for you. Read. That you may look upon it. Look upon it. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. That's and do it. them. And do it. That you seek not after your own heart. We don't, we don't want to do our own thing. We want to do what the Most High's got planned for us. And your own. Deuteronomy, we're going to give you some, some, some water that floods the earth, my brain. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Uh, now we'll get uh, verse 1, uh, 28 verse 1. Because the prayer doesn't need enough, doesn't need to know the enough. Eh? Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. So when you keep these laws, read. And it shall come to pass, if thou, sh if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So you need, hearken means when you take this to heart, take this to your mind, take this into consideration. And this is the way to do shit. Read. To observe and to do all his commandments. Observe means to look up. Homework, it, study, do the homework. If we don't know how, we'll tell you how. Sharpen still, brothers sharpen brothers. That's if you right. ever need help, we're here. Mm. Read my brother. To observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. So we need to start keeping, we're now, we're now holy people, the Israelites, he could all start keeping the laws of God. He's gonna what? Thy God will set thee on high. Put us on high again, bro. Above all nations above, of the earth. Above what? Above all nations of the earth. That's the plan, my bro. We want to be ruling this earth. earth. Yeah. yeah. We we don't want to be down at the bottom. We want to be up the top, ruling societies, governing nations, kings and queens. The children come out to take it, and they're privileged. No more white privilege. Godly privileges. And all these blessings shall come upon thee. And overtake thee. these blessings will overtake us, bro. We won't be able to comprehend that everything's just blessed. Thou shalt hearken unto the unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So we just got to listen, bro. Telling a fuck. 
Fakr Rumo means, Fakr means to exalt, Rumo means the peace. So by listening, that's how we get peace. Yeah, my friend. So read that again. Oh, we're going to get you 15, Kira Deuteronomy. Because there's an upside about this and there's a downside about this. Read Deut Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass, it's going to happen. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. You don't want to listen? Our more people, people don't want to listen. Read. You observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Back in the day when he gave us the coal, gave us the fire. Then Read. all these curses shall come upon thee. All these what? All these curses shall come upon thee. All these what? All these curses shall come upon thee. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? A bad thing. Yeah, bro. So that's a deal we've made with the Creator. Yeah, bro. Right. So read. That all these curses. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which shall command thee this day. This day. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Read 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Cursed shall thee what? Cursed shall thou be in the city. Who's at the bottom in every city you go to? China? Africa? Or is it your Maori people? Who's at the bottom in the cities, my bro? Was that cursed line? Read, it, read the next curse. It's fixed, my God don't lie, my brain. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall thou be in the workplace, my brain. Where the first fired and the last hired. Everyone else gets a job faster than you would. Even if you got the qualifications. Nah, bro, they're racist towards you. You're God's, you're God's son now. They don't want you to keep God's law, you're going to be ruling over them. Yeah, I've a 46. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 46 And they shall be upon thee for a sign I'll now get a 45 45 Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee All these curses, my brave Shall come upon thee And shall pursue thee And overtake thee Till thou be destroyed Till thou be destroyed Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God Now people that want to listen to the law, my brave Read To keep his commandments and his statutes Which he commanded thee Read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. For a sign. They are going to be upon you for a sign. Read. And thy seed to forever. These curses are on our families and our people forever. That's right. Read. Because thou servest not the Lord because with joyfulness. You, because our people don't want to serve the most high with joy, joyfulness. They're scared. They want to pray to something else or worship something else. They know, confused. We know what we worship. Read. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness. Because our people don't serve the Most High. Read. And with gladness of heart. Read. For the abundance of all things. Mm, read. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. Therefore thou shalt what? Sent them against us. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent the white man against us? The Lord shall, shall send thee against thee. The most high brought them here to fuck us up. Because we don't want to keep his commandments. You don't want to serve my... That's like... This is what you say. You don't want to serve me, my brother? You go serve the enemy. And that's how our father is too. He's like us. Fuck you backstab me. Check you down here. Yeah. The emotions we have, he has. He has hate. So, um, so that's why I'm teaching the law to lift, uplift this curse on us. Yeah, my friend, because we're under it. Because I know the Father, and He's told me to come wake us all up now to return back to Him, His law. Yeah, so we are, we got a channel on uh, Tony Far TV. If you want to learn, it's called Tony Far TV. Yeah, my friend, um, if you want to keep in contact with us, friend, keep in touch. Yeah, this is just part of the law, bro. We gotta go. Yeah. We're just showing faces, and whoever hearkens or the most high chooses who brings up to us. Yeah.
I, I didn't I didn't choose you, bro. The most high chose you, cuz, because he needs you standing here in the front line, cuz. Mm, we just chilling, like homies. But when the homie comes past, we'll give him the word. So I'm gonna give you one more. Let's give him one more. It's good to see a real star, you know, as it is in heaven, the, the Milky Way, that's called Ikaro. And as it is in heaven, so it is on earth. There's an Ika up there in the great ocean of the universe, and there's an Ika down here. There's stars up there, and there's stars down here too. And we're in this dark, wicked world, and we got to shine the light. And it's not our light, it's our ancestors, our forefathers, our Atul's light. Psalms chapter 19 verse 7 The law of the Lord is perfect The what? The law of the Lord is perfect The law of the Lord is perfect So these these churches, religions and everything Change my jawbone into a lie And then they say we don't have to keep God's law But they want you to pay tithes That's a God's law The law of the Perfect. The law of the law is what? The law of the Lord is perfect. It's perfect, my friend. Converting the soul. This is the only thing that can convert our soul to make us be mighty men. Read. The testimony of the Lord is sure, make you wise the simple. Everything hard to understand becomes simple to understand. Once you know the law, oh fuck, everything becomes simple. You start knowing shit without even knowing how you knew it. Yeah, my brother, the most I will give you wisdom, understanding, knowledge. It'll right. start blessing you with how to make businesses, how to make, you know, it start, he'll start giving it to you, my brother, because you will be the light that people will need to go to. So he'll start uplifting you so you get that light. So people can come to you and talk to you. Ecclesiasticus, chapter 21, verse 11. Yep. He that keepeth the law of the Lord getteth the understanding thereof, and the perfection of the fear of the Lord is wisdom. See that, bro? You'll get the understanding on how this world plays. You'll understand the white man's mind on how what he's up to. I know what he's up to. So this is how I you counteract, you counter him with this, with the law. So we're gonna finish off with Exodus verse 15, verse 3. You gotta know who our God is, who your God is. You gotta know who Hawaii is. Exodus chapter 15, verse 3. Read it mighty. The Lord is the man of war. The, what? the Lord is his name. The what? The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. He's a man of hugs and kisses. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. He's a man of war, my brother. That's your God. He ain't no hugs and kisses, blonde, stringy hair coming out of the sky. How no? I'm looking at him. You're looking at him. Those are your gods. We are on the battlefield together, bro. I'm not going to pray to nothing. I'm going to pray to you to got my back. That's right. I got your back, my brother. My back. That's our gods. That's our family. Our happy. So, um, we're out here every Sabbath, cuz, if you want to come and chicken with us. Yeah, we're, we're, we're here all day, monkey. Yeah, we're cool. Hey, we all about three. Like I do, we talk like me too, but nobody gon' rock with you, cause you can't do it like me. Nah, you can't do it like me. Let's get this clear. You can walk like I do and talk like me too, but nobody gon' rock with you, cause you can't do it.